Hey guys, it's uh, Steve here from Nostalgia Gaming. Uh, I'm starting the video series on how to make those Pi stations. So the first step is going to be downloading the RetroPie image file, installing that onto an SD card, and then getting that set up on your ret uh, Raspberry Pi and turning it on and configuring a controller. So the things that you're going to need for this tutorial are going to be a Raspberry Pi 3, some sort of micro SD card, and today I'm going to be using a 32 gig uh, micro SD card from Kingston, and you'll need some sort of uh, USB controller. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a folder on the desktop, and we're just going to call it, uh, I'll call it Pi. And the next step we're going to do is we are going to download one piece of software that we're going to use to write the image, and it's called Win32 Disk Imager. And you can go ahead and Google that, and it should populate right away. When you click on the first link, click the download button, and it'll take you to a screen where you've got to wait five seconds before the download, and it should pop up. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and save that into the Pi folder that I just created. And we're going to download it. It's a relatively small file, um, so it downloads relatively quickly. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to install that. So I accept the agreement. And we'll create a desktop icon. And it doesn't take very much time at all to download. So no, I don't want to read it. And no, I don't want to launch right this second. But I will show you. So I'm using two screens here. So I've just got to pull it over. So there it's going to be. So it will download right to your desktop. If you're using two screens, it'll be on your primary desktop. So the next thing that we need to download is the RetroPie image. So if you go ahead and just type in RetroPie right into Google on the very first screen it'll be retropie.org.uk uh, I will put all the links down in the description um, just to make it easier so you guys can go ahead and click right from that description area um, but this is the landing page you'll scroll down and it says get RetroPie so we're gonna click that and here you've got two buttons so you've got RetroPie 0 and 1 and or sorry Raspberry Pi 0 and 1 and Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 we have a Raspberry Pi 3, so we're going to go ahead and click the Raspberry Pi 2 3 button. And we're going to go ahead and save that right into our new folder as well. So that's going to download, and that should take just about a minute. All right, so now that that is finished, we're going to go ahead and minimize the browser because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to open up our folder that has our uh, files that we've just downloaded. You'll see right here that this is a zip file, so what we'll need to do is we'll need to unzip it. So, it'll just take a minute here. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip that. And we're going to select our folder right from our desktop, which is right here. And we're going to unzip it there. And that'll just take, I don't know, 15 or so seconds. Awesome. So now that that's done, uh, remind me later. All right. We'll go ahead and close that. And now you'll see right here that we've actually got that image file. So it's a disk image file. What we need to do is we need to plug in our SD card into the computer, which I've already done. And we're going to go ahead and open up Win32 Disk Imager. So here it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to select your drive. Uh, you want to make sure that you are recording to the proper drive because if you don't uh, you'll actually write over say uh, a USB stick or another hard drive that might be plugged in so I know for certain that my SD card slot is my E drive and then I'm gonna go ahead and select this folder so that way I can locate that image file so I'm gonna go ahead and click here and I'm gonna hit open And then you've got a couple options down on the bottom. What you're going to want to do is write. So what that's going to do is it's going to write that image file directly to that SD card. Yes, I want to continue. And now you can just sit back and relax, and this will take uh, a few minutes to 
to finish here. All right, so the write is now successful. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And what we are going to do is we're gonna remove the SD card right from our system. We can go ahead and close this. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna insert that SD card into our Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna switch over right now to the, uh, to the Raspberry Pi so I can show you how to set that up. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and plugged in our Raspberry Pi. We've made sure the SD card is sitting in flush. And uh, now it's just gonna go through a different, a bunch of different checks. So it's gonna load up your landing page for RetroPie, and then it's gonna go back in and check a few more uh, file systems, and then uh, emulation station's gonna start coming up. Just make sure that you give it some time. Uh, don't, don't feel like there's anything you can do to rush it or, or worry that it's not doing anything if it's been staying on the same spot for a little while. Just let it do its thing. It is working. It is uh, booting up for you. Keep in mind that this will only happen uh, the very first time that you start up Emulation Station and RetroPie. It will not take this long after the, the initial setup. Excellent. So now we've gotten to a screen here where it's going to say welcome and it will notice that you have one USB controller connected. I right now have a USB controller connected and I've also got a USB keyboard connected, but on the controller, uh, you just have to press any button and hold it for about I'd say two or three seconds and it'll automatically put you into the configuration mode. So I'm gonna press a button and it brings up to the configuration for my gamepad. I'm currently using an Xbox One controller. Uh, I've got it connected via USB. Uh, I personally like that type of a controller. It, uh, it feels really good. It works really well in response to all the emulators the way that I want it to. So I, I'm happy with that, but you can use essentially any, any um, USB controller or some wireless ones. You can connect in the PS3 controller, for example, via Bluetooth. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, configure this. So up, down, left, right. Start select, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So you've got your A, B, X, Y buttons, and you want to map them so that way they um, would resemble a Super Nintendo controller. So for example, my A button, my physical A button on the Xbox One controller would be in the same spot as like the X button for PlayStation would be. But what we want to do is we actually want to configure the A button with the B physical button on the Xbox controller or the circle button on the PlayStation controller. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then the B button would actually be my A button or the X button on PlayStation, and then same with the X and the Y. So the X button is my physical Y button, uh, or on a on a PlayStation controller it would be the triangle, and then the Y button is going to be my physical X button. Everything else is pretty standard. And that's it. So you're gonna go ahead and put that in there. It'll take a second just to save that configuration. And then once we get into that, it'll automatically boot up your RetroPie. The only other thing that we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi connection. And the reason that we're gonna do that is because it'll make things easier going forward. There's gonna be a lot of uh, transferring files from your PC to your Raspberry Pi, and this will allow you to do so very easily. So you're gonna go ahead and press A on the RetroPie menu and you're gonna scroll all the way down to the Wi-Fi button and you're gonna hit A on there. This is why I've got the USB controller connected because it'll make this a lot easier. Um, different controllers have different button layouts for this um, configuration portion of uh, RetroPie. And if you just use a wired USB controller, or sorry, if you use a uh, wired keyboard, uh, you can literally press exactly what I tell you to press and it will always be the same if you're using a keyboard. So in this case, I'm gonna hit the enter button to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And then I'm gonna find my network right here, which is the Kubrosi, my last name. I'm gonna hit enter. And then I just need to put in my uh, network password and then hit enter again. So that'll take a second, it'll say connecting. 
and after a few seconds it will connect. Beautiful. So what you'll notice right over here is uh, on the top little portion of the black bo or the gray box there it says configure Wi-Fi and current IP. So the IP address is something you might want to take note of. So you'll want to write that down because you'll be able to use it. Um, you might need to use it in some of the next videos. But what you'll do is you'll hit the right arrow key from here over to uh, select over exit and hit the enter key again. So that'll bring us back to our menu. And that's all that we're going to do for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. The next video that's coming out is going to be transferring ROMs onto your uh, Raspberry Pi, as well as installing the Pixel theme uh, and getting uh, the scraper running. So that way you can get the really cool box art for each of the games. So be sure to watch. Again, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon.